you've got to know a little bit more about me. A little bit more about what's happened with me. I've had people say to me that, oh, they won't leave me, or they won't do this, or they won't do that. I call it the, I liken it to 54321 volt. That's what guys do. Because they can't, they can't put up with all of this. I can't eat. I'm, I have liquids. And even the liquids are not liquid enough. They cause blockages. I'm on over 15 types of medications and five different types of inhalers. I have blockages every week. And to try and fix that, they liken it to medical TNT, where they give, where I take Peg Lightly, and I take Correctol, and I take um, this other uh, stuff, liquid that I drink, and enemas, just to get me to go. And normally that's not for a few days. And that's from liquid. Because liquid isn't liquid enough? How cuckoo is that? Like I'm on boost and ensure. No, well, I don't know if you heard that. That's from boost and ensure. There's nothing else. Like I, ha I can have broth. I like mushroom broth. But really, you know, what do you tell a guy? I can't do a whole F of a lot. If they say, hey, what kind of food do you like to eat? Which I've had happen. Uh, well, what kind of food? What do I say? Um, well, what kind of food do you like? Where do you like to go? How am I supposed to tell them? I can't eat food? Which I do. As soon as I say something like that, it normally brings on, what do you mean you can't eat food? I can't eat food. I have diseases where I can't eat food. It has to be liquid. What do you mean, liquid? And here we go. Then I explain. And it's five, four, three, two, one, bolt. We're gone. It happens all the time. Even when guys say, don't worry, I'm not like that. I won't leave you. I won't leave your life. I won't, da, 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 da. you know, it happens with them too. Yeah. They can't even keep their promises. So what is the point? I get friends and, and family that say, don't worry, you'll find somebody just for you who will understand and who'll be there for you and, and all of that. And I'm like, uh-huh, yeah, okay, sure. If you think so. I can't even go out for any limited amount of time without my head just banging or my stomach starting to swell and expand because my that's what my intestines are doing. And it's like, okay, I got to get home and I got to go lie down. How is anybody going to take that when they can't do anything with me? How, how much fun is that? Like, really, they want to give up their life for that, eh? I, I don't think so. Actually, I know so. I know not. They're not going to want to do that. It's just 
not something at this particular point that they're not going to want to do. And everybody says, oh, you're so pretty. You're so this. You're so that. Thank you. I appreciate it. And that's what just... And then, you know, like I said, I get the ones I tell them. And they're like, oh, no, I wouldn't do that. And really? They do. They actually do. So, it's me and my puppy puppy. And I know that he won't leave me. I know that he'll lie on me and lie on my legs and give me cuddles and hugs and kisses. And doesn't matter to him if my head's in a bucket puking or if I'm screaming in pain or from crying or anything like that. I know that he's there. He's there with me. And he will be there with me. That's why I thank God for him. So, it's late and i got to rest and turn off these lights because they're affecting my eyes. They make my eyes leak. <laughs> Leaky eyes. So thank you for all listening to my rants and everything that happens to me. One thing I do get a lot of, though, when people know what's wrong with me is, I don't know how you do it. I wouldn't be able to put up with that. I just wouldn't be able to live like that. Life is life no matter what and I'm fighting for mine I want to live I want to be here because there's still so many beautiful things I want to see no matter what I still want to be here I know heaven or paradise is beautiful and there's no more tears there's no more pain there's no more sorrow and I know it's beautiful and I know my dad's there my brother's there my sister's there my uncle's there my best friend's there so many people I know there I know that would be good too But I have, even though my, one of my sons has disowned me, I have my older son. I'm here. And I want to see things happen with him. And I have my niece, who's like a daughter to me. And I want to see things happen with her. And I'm hoping maybe someday my son will come around, my young one. I'm hoping to God that he'll see the light somehow someday I hope and I pray and I wish him well until then and I wish him love and until then that's all I can do and keep my bubble of positivity around me that's it so thank you again for listening that's my life in a nutshell right now so it's more than a day in the life of Mish <laughs> you've got more than that so God bless please stay well do what you want to do now please don't wait Lord knows if you'll get that time Lord knows if you'll have the health to do it so enjoy the moment. Enjoy it now. Do it now. If you're able to, don't wait. Don't put off. It's a big, beautiful world that we were given in our lives. Make a difference.